So the best way to get something done, if you if you hold near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to. Anyway. Have you ever had those moments where there's a message in your head, but you can't really articulate it well? If this is a skill you feel like you need to develop, you're on the right channel. Communication skills are one of the most important tools for a person in order to succeed in all aspects of life. With a good set of communication skills, you can convey effectively and you can get your message across, which in turn helps people around you understand you better and for you to understand them better. With that, let's talk about developing your communication skills so that you can increase your chances in business, in work, and in personal relationships. <laughs> My name is Munif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I essentially started with zero, came out of poverty, and I started to make these videos to share my life experiences so that I may teach others how to become more successful. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and please smash that subscribe button like the video, and then share it with someone who might find this video helpful. Listening to a speaker who can't go directly to the point is a waste of time. Sometimes people tend to stretch out their sentences just so they can speak more, even if the message is repeatedly pointless. This happens when the speaker doesn't know the subject matter, or if the speaker doesn't know how to convey his or her message directly to the audience or the recipient. They would stretch out the number of words with the same context and go around in circles about something that could have been framed by a sentence or two. As much as possible, an effective communicator should know the subject they're talking about. If you're just stretching out the message, it creates boredom in your audience or to whoever else you're speaking to and whoever else is listening to you. And that's something that you need to avoid because the goal of communication is to have a shared meaning and a shared understanding when you talk. Because the goal of communication is to have a shared meaning and a shared understanding of what you're speaking about. Tip number two is to improve your nonverbal cues. According to studies, your nonverbal cues are more important than what you're actually speaking. And remember, when you speak, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation or a public forum, make eye contact with the people when you talk to them. Show confidence in your posture as well. Lastly, emphasize the message you wish to convey by matching it with the tonality of your voice. By doing so, it improves your charisma. It makes you appear more confident and reliable and thus more believable to your audience. You see this as well in writing and in blogs and in books. So tip number three is to avoid complicated words. You wanna reach out to more people. Don't use complex words. It's better to use words that are understandable to the masses or to many. You're not dumbing it down. All you're doing is effectively communicating to more people who understand your message. Take note that the purpose of communication is to have that shared understanding. It's not about showing off that you're above the rest by appearing more intellectual or technical. If you're too concerned about impressing people with some highfalutin words or jargon, you might lose your potential audience, your future coworkers, or people that you lead. For one, they don't fully understand what you're talking about, and two, they're missing out on the actual purpose of your message. Failure to convey your message is a failure to connect to your audience. And they might be too ashamed or embarrassed to ask you what that one particular word or concept might even mean. Thus, you're losing the opportunity to communicate with them. However, if you really want to use a deep word, know what it means and know how to explain it and how to use it effectively to communicate with people. Pull up a journal, list those words, try to use them in a way that would positively impact your speech or your message. And there's no problem in defining the word that you just used during your presentation or communication as well. Tip number four, another practice that you can do to improve your communication skills is by studying successful speakers because success leaves clues. Have some role models in your life that you look up to and that you would set up as role models. Study how incredible speakers talk and list down their observations. What do they have that you don't currently have? How do they speak? How do they inspire their audience? How are they able to communicate? And how can you improve your style? If you've been dreaming about speaking like them, having an audience like theirs one day, you need to start to think that these great examples were once like you. And you can be like them as well. Even if you're shy, try to speak, ask questions, and 
let your presence be known. Greatness can be replicated if you're willing to put the time and effort into it. Imagine having an encounter with your favorite guest speaker, but you missed out on a chance of a lifetime opportunity to have a chance to talk to them and gain wisdom because you were too shy. I know there are a lot of moments when we all want to ask the question, but we won't bother because we're shy. But if you remain in your comfort zone, how are you ever going to grow? When you're in discomfort, there's growth. So embrace that discomfort and take it as a challenge. Think about it, and if you remain in your comfort zone, there's no growth of you as a speaker, as a businessman or woman, or any other role that you really want to achieve. A couple of things, presidential candidates, movements, civil rights, all of these things were started with effective speakers. So those are my tips on how you can develop communication skills. Remember to take note of each of your verbal and nonverbal cues. Prioritize improving your communication skills so that you can connect with others, not just folks. And also, keep practicing your tools by talking to people with authority to improve your own communication skills and confidence. I'm pretty confident that you've learned something from this video. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and comment down below if you have anything else to share with everyone watching. If you wanna learn more about personal development, watch this video how simply making your bed can change your life. Five lessons from Make Your Bed from William McRaven.